in the previous video we had created our authorization uh, implementation where we had a service account key.json which basically has all of our uh, credentials and authorizations and use that to connect to our firebase account uh, which is hosted by google and a, and a database as well so let's run our application and first see that everything is uh, working smoothly without showing up any errors for authorizing our application so we have our application ready so let's just do a run crud runner and that should initialize our firebase application and also run our spring boot application and hopefully nothing breaks here so we have our tomcat server up and running and let's just quickly uh, do a sanity check uh, no errors so far and everything is being executed and yep looks great nothing broke so yeah let's talk about what we are going to do in this video so we have our local application and it has been authorized to uh, hit firebase now we for our cloud application first we need to do is have data which we need to you know create update or do some operations on so first let's create our data and then we can do a bunch of things with that data so go inside your uh, package new java class call it crud so this is going to be a simple data which we can operate on let's have our setter and getters from lombok so that it's easier to work with them the next thing which we need are a bunch of um, attributes for our data. So here in inside our data, we just have two um, fields. We have the name and the profession and we have the document ID, right? So let's uh, do that. So let's have all the three here. So we have private string document ID. We have private string name. And private not private we have private string profession so this is basically the attributes which we have inside each document for our crud user schema inside our fire crud firebase crud main database so this is how we can access our object in a serializable manner which gives us these three things whenever we want them now this is the data which we'll be working on where we update delete uh, and uh, retrieve this particular uh, NJSON format, data NJSON format. So what's next? Now, uh, we need to have a controller which basically talks uh, or gives out, shoots out uh, APIs, right? So let's have a CRUD controller. We'll be following the MVC architecture, the uh, model view controller. So we have our controller, we have our view, which is basically JSON, and model, which is going to be Firebase, which is handling our database uh, there. So inside our controller, what are we doing? So we are talking to a service which basically interacts with the Firebase database for us. So let's go ahead and first create that service as well. So we have current service. And this service will basically uh, contact Firebase and get all the data from it or send data to it. And it will be uh, operated on using the CRUD controller. So let's first implement our CRUD controller. So we call it our REST controller and let's initialize our CRUD service application uh, sorry, class first so public CRUD service, CRUD service and let's do an init simple constructor here called so CRUD controller take CRUD service and let this initialize this dot CRUD service equal to CRUD service simple initialization of our CRUD service so that we can use all the methods and such. Next would be to have our controllers ready, right? So no beans found. So let's first actually create a bean for this. So let's go ahead and make it a service which will indirectly make it a bean for us to use. And this should go away. Um, if not, then we, look okay, it's gone. Now let's create our uh, API endpoints through which we are going to contact Firebase, right? So we have create, update, uh, create, retrieve, update, delete, right? CRUD APIs. So let's add them uh, sequentially. So post mapping, uh, we're going to do a post to slash create, and this will create our uh, CRUD data. It will return the CRUD data created 
uh, or we'll just hit return the string for now that our data has been created and we can see the data being created on the dashboard and it will have a request body and this body is going to be crud uh, in the crud object form and this throws a bunch of stuff this throws interrupted exception and also throws execution exception so this is for firebase so we'll get into that in a minute and inside this uh, all we need to do is return crud service dot um, create crud which we are going to make right now so this is not uh, existing inside the service class but we will be making this in a minute let's do the same for the other uh, endpoints so we have create we need retrieve so this is going to be get mapping uh, not twice so we have get mapping and we do get and we also have the name so that's going to be a request parameter so instead of create we can do get crud and instead of request body we do request param and this is going to give out a crud object so get crud and this is going to be string and the name of our uh, application basically our document id is what i would say better document id and we pass it on to this and we get our get endpoint done uh, let's uh, create the other endpoints so now the next thing which we have to do is create the update so create retrieve is done next is a put mapping so let's quickly uh, write that as well so we have put mapping and this will update so let's do update again return a string because you want to see this happening inside the dashboard update crud and again we want this little thing inside and not the document id so this will become crud yep crud uh, update is also done and last but not the least is delete so let's have our delete up and ready for it to use so delete um, delete yep everything looks good we need to delete by document id so let's do that and this is going to be not delete it's going to be delete and we're deleting by document id okay awesome we have all the uh, rest controller endpoints that we need to talk to our crud service and next let's create all these uh, services or the method definitions first before we uh, move on the first is going to be public um, string create crud which takes in crud and does a bunch of stuff right so it basically returns for now it returns an empty string but it will return something later on uh, next we want the same for delete and update as well so let's do update first so update and okay so what's the problem here request is crud right so already defined okay my bad this will be delete crud and this should make sure all the problems go away and yep almost looks like it everything looks good delete takes a string so my bad yep and the last is going to be get so we do get and this is going to be string not in german document id and we are good to go so now we have our function definitions what they do pretty straightforward they don't do much for now or uh, just simple enough to get it working 
and we have our CRUD controller ready as well. So hopefully the errors go away. Yep, and they did go away. So yeah, we have our REST controller ready. Uh, usually I do a simple unit test to check whether our controller is running or not. So the way I do that is basically have a test endpoint, which does it for me. So let me just show it to you right now. So here I have a slash test endpoint, which basically gives me that the test endpoint is working and gives me that my application is sane. Let's actually, you know, uh, see what's happening inside slash test so that we make sure that our application is up and running. So let's run our application. And hopefully we will have a simple uh, app ready without any uh, hassle. So our server is running. Once it's done, we can then use anything to run our application basically. Just do a slash get, right? So it is on port 8080. So let's do it here. So let's do local 8080 slash test, right? And we get the endpoint is working. So that's good to know. We have our application up and running. So in the next video, we will actually implement or uh, implement the main logic of our application where we actually talk to our Firebase database and then we create our endpoints. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.